everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh and tonight I thought I would discuss balance. One of the reasons why many people fail at becoming successful day traders is because they're out of balance. And this is a perfect picture for that because you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six rocks that are set one on top of the other that are in perfect balance and that allows us to stand straight and not topple over. And so as a human being, we are challenged daily by many, many things that are really set to topple us off of our balance. And it usually starts by one small thing and then it roller coasters off into the larger rocks. So we have to be very aware of that when we start our day. And the best thing that we can do is start our day in 100% balance. And the great thing I like about what I do with the gap trading is that that really is the beginning of my day. I exercise and then trade. So it starts my day off because I'm in the Eastern time zone and the market opens at 9.30 in the morning and I only focus on really trading between 9.30 and 10. Many people have the mindset of in life of limitation. What does that mean? It means they are limited in their thinking and their belief systems and what they think they can accomplish in the obstacles that come across them in life, of which there are many. And they very often uh, fall into this escape mentality, the fantasy land where they, just like this guy here, you see him, he's working very hard and then he is escaping in the same facet. I mean, he is working but escaping in the same life and he's wishing he wasn't where he was. The best thing that you can do for yourself is to live in the present moment and that means that you are exactly where you want to be. And if you are working a job where you don't want to be, then guess what? It's time to consider changing careers for a living. A lot of people on the planet do not have conviction that they can manifest wealth in their life or even change your circumstance or that it is even possible on the planet. If you choose to think like that, then you will spin your wheels round and round, like the picture I just showed you. You will spend a lifetime drowning in a sea of work and being unfulfilled, quite frankly. Drama, stress, and much to my dismay, disappointment, which is how most of the world lives. Or, guess what? The great news is, the good news for you today is that you can make another choice. So you have this guy here, he's stuck. He has boxed himself into this life of limitation. However, he's sitting and guess what? If he stands up, he will realize very quickly that the height of the box is actually shorter than he stands and that if he stands up, he can see out, out into the world and see that he can just step over the top of the box and then proceed with his life. And then he is no longer limited. So the very important thing you have to think about is how can you accomplish the goals in your life? What are they? What do you really want to achieve? What will make you happy in life? And how can you manifest those things? So do you believe that you have the ability to even make things happen for yourself? Yes or no? All right, so yeah, I mean, just be honest with yourself. Do you believe that you have the ability to produce, to produce income, to produce something that other people would desire? Okay, whether it's a product or a service or something you can add value to society. Do you believe that you have the ability to create something from nothing? I mean, this is obviously if you're an inventor or creator and you know, that's something to think about too. Do you believe that you have the power of creation very, very important things. And I'm going to talk about something very serious now. Do you believe in your life goals or dreams or guess what? Do you just hope? Stop the hoping mentality. Be deliberate in your decision making and choices. Hope makes us feel good. Like a warm, snuggly feeling, but yet it feels like we're doing something. However, it really ends up leading nowhere. Hoping is not doing anything. It's not productivity. And it's not even positive, actually. It's a desperation. Now just listen to what I'm saying. Hope is no action. Hope is no plan. Hope is no decision. Hope is hanging on for dear life. Hope is relying on something outside of yourself to manifest the wealth you desire. Hoping is giving away your power 
and actually it weakens you. And that is not what you desire. Hope lives in the desert. It's a barren, barren desert where you're constantly looking for the mirage, which is the water in the desert, and you never, ever find it. When you hope, you actually give your power away. When you hope, you give your power away. You give your power away to some unknown, or sometimes it is actually a known source that is outside of yourself. I hope this happens. I, I hope that happens. I, I hope I get this job. I hope this trade works out. I hope I make money in this trade. I hope it doesn't stop me. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it all works out. Da, 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 all right? The whole thing goes on forever. Hope is endless. You never achieve the goal. Hope actually deteriorates your own power and zaps you of the power that you need to accomplish your goals. And eventually, it leads you to exhaustion. And why? Because you spend all of your energy, everything you got, and all the time that you have in a 24-hour day, hoping and wishing and never really doing anything to accomplish the goal, no real plan of action is in place. You just keep hoping. And in this hoping, you are not getting anything done. So you've got to stop the hoping and be deliberate in your decision making. It's Hope is just clinging. It's wanting and letting the status quo drag on. You never get there. You actually never, never, never get there. You never get to your goal. The goal, you keep pushing the goal out farther away from you with the hoping. The goal event ever balloons you. you. You put the goal out of your reach by the very act of the hoping. All right. In fact, the actual participation in this hoping mentality does you so much harm. And why? Because not only does it make the achievement of the goal seem far off and then pushes it far off from you, it actually does something worse, which is guess what? It deceives you. It, the hoping mentality deceives you. So what do you have to do? You have to stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself into thinking that you're helping yourself by hoping. It's because you are think you are helping yourself that you keep hoping more and hope, hope, hope. You think that this is what you should be doing because that's what everyone says after all. And yet every time you do the hoping, you give away more of your own power until you're zapped from all your own self-empowerment. Thus in doing so, you put the attainment of that goal even farther out of reach. Why? Because you are the only one who has the power to make things happen in your own life. You are the only one that has the power to achieve your own goals and dreams. And so therefore, giving your power away to anything, even hope, does nothing, absolutely nothing that actually works against you to help you achieve your own goals, including giving your power away to hope. And if you do, guess what happens? Guess what? On and on and on your situation goes. The goal is farther out of reach, you're pushing it, you never get there, there's no end to the hoping in sight, and no time frame for you ever achieving the goal, or manifesting wealth, or your job, or whatever the thing is that you desire. This hoping can go on for eternity with no real outcome, and that is very dangerous. And how does this all come into effect? As human beings, what is the thing that creates all of this to manifest into a big black cloud? that never really accomplishes your goals, and guess what? It is because of fear. So why, why on earth do we do this to ourselves? Why do we hope so much? Why do we give our power away? Why do we cause our goals to be so far from our reach? Why do we believe ourselves to actually think that we can do this, but then yet we work against ourselves all the time by believing that it's impossible or we're afraid we can't achieve it? Why, how? Because of fear, okay? So fear is the basis of why we often give away our power. We are afraid of this. We're afraid of success. We're afraid of failing. We're afraid of trying something. We're afraid of losing money if we take a trade. We're afraid of losing money if we take a class. We're afraid if we do this thing, we won't be successful. We're afraid of changing careers, quitting our job, doing something new, falling in love, okay? And then we often languish in a barren of desert of hope. And the worst thing about fear is that it deceives you too. It's the worst, worst sucker of all. It's, it's like seeing a mirage in the desert, as I discussed. Fear has deceived man for decades, for eternity, ever since the dawn of time. 
And that is what is so dangerous about fear because once again, guess what? Mankind often gives away our own power to fear. Fear deceives you all the time. How? Because you make it out to be real. You believe that thing you are afraid of is real. You give it your, your own power and therefore it has power. It wouldn't have power without you giving it the power. You give it the power of life. You fuel the fear into existence. You give it your own energy. You believe fear exists alone as its own entity, but guess what? It doesn't. Fear is not real. Fear is your own creation. If you feel the power in it, it will be alive. If you don't, it won't. It will disappear. It's something you create individually, yourself. Without your fear, there, it, there would be no existence of the fear within you of anything you want to achieve. Fear is not a physical object. You can't see it, touch it, okay? It exists only in your mind. And, and here's a great example of this. Are you afraid of spiders? Guess what? Some people are, some people aren't. Why? Some people give the fear of this into the spider. Some people are not afraid of spiders. So it is not the same for all people. Therefore, it is a manifestation of whatever fear that of the power that you have given to the spider to create the fear in you that you don't want to walk into a room where there is a spider or you're afraid to kill a spider, or you don't want to go to sleep if you see a spider, or whatever, okay? Not everyone feels that way. It's very akin to, I live in a, in a building, and I live in a very high floor, and I've had people come up the elevator and be scared of heights. Well, they can't take the elevator. Sometimes people come to visit me, they cannot stand in front of the window. They can't stand to look out and see that they were so high above and so far away from the ground. That... I don't have that fear at all. It is a fear that they have manifested within themselves, just like the spider fear, okay? So not everyone has the same fears. You have to be willing to change instead of giving up. If you have certain things that are holding you back, fear of spiders, heights, trading, taking risks, changing your careers, doing something in your life, spending money on a class, taking risk in a trade, then you are going to hold yourself back. And therefore, you're gonna have a hard time moving ahead. So you've gotta let go of the fear, you've gotta be willing to change, and I, I'm telling you right now, that's a heck of a lot better than giving up.